in our past two videos, we created a TypeScript build step for a project and then looked at how we can add type annotations to our code. In this video, we'll take our controllers and convert them over to ES6 classes. To get started, we will clone this project, which has an up-to-date list of dependencies. So run git clone and then cd into that directory, then run npm install. This will go out and fetch all the necessary build tools that we'll need. From here, we'll install all the up-to-date typings with TSD install. And then we'll open up our editor. First, we'll want to navigate to our controller.ts file and take a look at all of our controllers. Notice that we all have anonymous functions at the end of them. So what we're going to do is create a class that will replace the anonymous function. So we'll navigate above our angular.module definition and we'll create a class. And for this first one, we'll call it our dash controller. And inside of it, it's going to contain a constructor which has zero dependencies and does nothing. So we'll close that out. We'll come back down to our dash controller, replace this anonymous function with the named dash controller class that we just created. For our chats controller, we're going to take the same pattern and then look at how we can actually work with dependency injection. So we'll take a class and then give it a name up chats controller. And we're going to do dependency injection a little bit different than we're used to in just regular JavaScript. So we're going to use Angular's dollar inject to inject a list of dependencies for this controller. So we'll say public dollar inject is going to equal an array of strings. And for this one, we'll inject the chat service. Then we can come down to our constructor and inject the chat service that we just injected right here. So inside of our constructor function, we will essentially copy this, save. But what you'll notice is that we have an error. Our TypeScript compiler is saying that we do not have a property of chats on this class. So what we need to do here is create a chats property and then give it a type of any kind of array our semicolon, save, and then the TypeScript compiler is happy. The next part is we'll recreate this remove method that we have right here. So we'll copy that and move it up here. And what we're going to want to do is remove the this dot before the remove name. And then we'll also delete the equal sign and function. So now we have our typical class set up. And what we're going to want to do instead of saying chats.remove, we'll say this.chats.remove pointing to this chat service that we injected in our constructor. And last but not least, we'll come down to our function, delete that, and replace it with the chats controller that we just created. Now for the last one, we're going to look at, we'll look at the chats detail controller. So again, we'll come down here, create a class, uh, chat detail controller. We'll create our injected array of dependencies. This one taking chats and dollar state params. 
from here we'll create a constructor and it will have two dependencies public chats and if you want to annotate this we can annotate this with any and for our next one dollar state params and then we could also annotate this dollar state params using our typings from TSD. ng.ui interface state params service. We have a chat object or chat property on our controller, so we'll say chat and we'll give it a type of object. And then from here, we can actually just copy that and paste that right there. And then we'll do our final cleanup of removing the anonymous function and replacing it with the named class that we just created. So we'll save. We will go ahead and run Ionic Serve. What you notice is that everything still works. We're still loading in all of the uh, user data from our service. You notice that we can navigate around and still have everything load. In our next video, we'll take a look at our chat service that we had and look how we can create an interface and get IntelliSense for our own code completion.